Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all my Card Fade Vanguard Roroa deck profile for post Clash of the Heroes. This is my main go-to glitter deck from the Vanguard series. With it, this deck focuses on being able to call out a bunch of plant tokens and then also utilize those plant tokens with the glitter unit Roroa and his partner Rady Lena, being able to call out a Momoke token as well with all of the different combos but the main focus of the deck is the new grade three Roroa we received from the latest card fight vanguard booster set it definitely does help with the overall power of the deck just being able to set up your actual play styles and persona rides with all of the other cards we run in the deck and some of the newer support we received as well so without further ado let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile so we'll go ahead and start off with the ride deck our starter is bioroid youth Roroa, one wrote upon if you want second, draw a card. Our grade one is still Awakening from Slumber, Roroa. When placed by riding from Bioroad Youth, Roroa, call up to one plant token to your back row center rear guard. So it sets up the plant tokens that you'll use for the retire for your world 3,000 years later, Roroa. When placed on Vanguard, retire one of your rear guards to call two plant tokens onto the field. So you can just retire the one plant token you already had to get two more. With our main go-to grade three being for one's precious thing, Roroa. Now I say main grade three, but that's just mostly for the ride deck because our new offensive Roroa that we'll use is the Viridescent Flash Roroa. But you still want to use this copy as your go-to Vanguard for the ride deck. Having the Soul Blast to call up to three plant tokens. And when this unit is attacked, retiring one or more of your token units. And it gets plus five for each retired unit for the cost. Retiring those tokens for the add added shield power against any of your opponent's attacks. For the new Grade 3, we're running four copies of a Viridescent Flash Roroa. When this unit is placed by riding on for one thing's precious things, Roroa, call up to two plant tokens to rear guard, and they get when this unit is retired from the rear guard, draw a card until the end of your opponent's turn, and then activate Persona Ride. So you get draw power for using the other Roroa for retiring those specific plant tokens for its skill, and then also activating Persona Ride means that when you place it on top of the other Roroa, you'll still get the draw power and power from a persona ride and on vanguard circle when this unit attacks bind a for one's precious thing roroa from your soul choose one of your glitter rear guards until end of that turn that unit and this unit get plus five thousand and this unit gets critical plus one until end of turn and then ride the card bound for this card as rest at the end of that turn so you'll set up your other roroa for you to use with those tokens but also the additional power for the ray lena that you have on your rear guard being the glitter unit of choice to have it get plus 5,000 and this unit as well and also having this Roroa finally attack with pressure needed to go up against your opponent's vanguard since before we weren't really dealing with a real pressure unit for the Roroa to use to begin with. For our other grade threes, we're running four copies of the Undoubting Flame Sword Rady Lena. At the beginning of your main phase, if you do not have a Momoke token on your rear guard, call up to one Momoke token to rear. So the Momoke token can attack in the same column as in with a Rady Lena. And from the hand at the end of the battle that your unit with Rady Lena, its card name attacked. If your opponent's vanguard is grade three or greater, you can retire rear guard with Rady Lena, its card name, and a Momoke token to call this card to rear guard, and then increase this unit's power by the power of the Momoke token on the field, giving you the multiple attacks needed for your deck as well in the form of this grade three for the grade twos we also run four copies of the uh, drag ritter girl of flame blossoms radialina if you do not have a moke token you can count plus one to call one so that'll set up for the attack needed for your other radialina and it glitters with varroa so when this unit attacks you can soul bless one choose one of your tokens in the same column as this unit and it gets power of that unit until the end of the battle gaining the power of your uh, moke token to have the multiple attacks with this as well giving you your fifth attack if you have the other Rady Lena since you'll be attacking with the other rear guard column the Rady Lena and the Momoke token as well on top of the one you could potentially call out for the new grade two we're running three copies of kind intentions hunter Matthias when this unit is placed on rear guard from hand if you have a grade three or greater vanguard with Roa and its card name so blast one and retire two other rear guards choose a grade two or less card from your drop and call it to rear guard so you can even retire the tokens that you have for the 
main Roro we run to get the draw off of those cards, but also setting up another Radiant Lena on the field to then also set up a Momoke token also. And from the front row rear guard, at the beginning of your battle phase, if you have a unit with Roro and its card name and a unit with Radiant Lena, you may call a plant token to rear guard, giving you more of your battle phase setup for those plant tokens for you to use just as an additional boost option for your cards also. And then also the three copies of Love Binding Maiden, Margaret. When this unit's discarded from hand during a ride phase, you can Soul Blast one and put it on the bottom of the deck to draw a card. So draw power consistency for making up for the discard cost for your ride deck. And when this unit's placed on rearguard, if you Persona Road this turn, counter bus one, and your opponent cannot intercept until end of turn. All of your opponent's front row rearguards cannot stand during the next stand phase. So then you have the option for stopping intercepts and then just being able to stop your opponent's front row rearguards from being unable to stand during the next stand phase can really shut down a good number of other cards that they may try to rely on during the following turn. For the grade ones, I run four copies of Burrow Mushrooms. It helps to build up your soul power. You just put this unit into the soul to call up to two plant tokens to rearguard. If you have a grade three or grade vanguard with Gronfia, you have the power boost, but this is for the Roroa deck. So you're just using it to build up your soul and then also have the additional two tokens that you can then use to retire with the Momoke. You'll call off of your Radiolina to the field to then also have those token fodder before you go for your initial play setup using Roa and its tokens also. And then for the other grade ones, just four copies of the Planner Prevent Dragon. If you have Elementaria Sanctitude, this could always be the card spot for that one as well by just taking one copy of the Sentinel for you to use there also. And for our order, we are running four copies of Resolute Pair of Eyes. We, and if you have a Vanguard with a row and card name, you play with a Counter Plus 1 and retire a Rear Guard. When it's put into the Order Zone, search your deck for up to one Radiolina card, reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle your deck. So it gives you the search power for Radiolina, but also sets up tokens with more power in the back row, giving all your back row tokens plus 5,000 power if you have a Vanguard with Aroa. So definitely a 4 of since they all stack as well, and you can just search out the proper Radiolina you need for your play at that moment as well. For the trigger lineup, hasn't really changed much since the last update. Still the seven criticals, so the four copies of Elena, and the three copies of Sylvanhorn Beast Jackalope, just for the added pressure with our new Vanguard having the additional critical as well. And for the next lineup, the four draws, so the four Serene Maiden Lena for the additional 5k shield. And for the heals, the two copies of Soul Repose Pixie, the one copy of Narcissus Noble, and the one copy of Fairy Asher. For the added options, I've been debating just going back to the generic heals, if I were to do so, by just removing these two copies here, with the last one being the Over Trigger, or Bless Favor, for the additional heal power and power to the front row this card can provide as well, along with the additional critical on top of Aroas could be the potential game if your opponent has only three damage to begin with. But that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed. Wanted to start off with my favorite glitter deck for the deck updates, as I mentioned before. And definitely look forward to all the other ones that I'll be updating in due time as well. And as always, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Qualia out.